Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. As usual, I will guide you through the majors for the next upcoming week. And of course, I added gold this week since many of you have been asking about it. So while I roll the intern disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys uh, we will start with gold and we are on the daily time frame as you see gold uh, been uh, doing a correction to the downside so we're talking about uh, an impulse move and right now we are making some kind of correction which is um, happening now the move to the upside happening at this um, nice uh, trend line that been tested here here and here yeah so um, I think there is a possibility for gold to at least uh, reach up toward this um, uh, trend line here and uh, that is uh, probably the market objective to reach that trend line and uh, maybe this uh, monthly pivot point area uh, that is the least move from here and of course if we see any kind of a breakout strong breakout with some uh, correction there is a possibility for continuation to the upside on gold um, the four hour time frame we see that we uh, broke slightly below uh, this uh, key level here uh, as you see with this move uh, down here when we touch it, the uh, trend line and we start moving to the upside so last week we had a nice push uh, to the upside it's been going a bit slowly but i do like this here um, uh, after uh, a dip to the downside during the uh, GDP uh, release from uh, the US we got this nice impulse to the upside which uh, which is um, a possible signal that the bulls uh, may um, entering this market and I'm looking for some kind of correction and another leg as I said at least toward this uh, trend line and the monthly moving average um, a, a, a good level of um, possible support could be down here now uh, around this neckline so if we see gold going slowly to the downside making this correction then one could uh, anticipate a possible uh, one more leg to the upside at least but as i said if we see it also broke uh, breaking above this with another correction then there is maybe one more leg to the upside on gold so bullish on gold usd as you know guys we've been anticipating to sell euro uh, all the time uh, especially after uh, the retest of this um, uh, channel here and uh, the price was uh, testing these uh, previous um, support area that should act as resistance and they did uh, really act as resistance and since then we've been trending to the downside now we reach at a very important level if we look at the daily time frame the price of uh, the price here did test uh, this uh, swing low on euro usd last week and um, yeah one could uh, expect some kind at least some kind of correction back up from uh, this area uh, one important aspect here that if this last line of defense get broken strongly then there is not much left on the way between us and the uh, macron gap down here um, so that's why i see this level here as an important support area where we also have the monthly s1 uh, friday ended up as a um, <clears throat> the spinning top candle so uh, uh, we got a little bounce after testing lower than uh, that um, last line of defense and uh, during the GDP release we've got this spike to the downside to then spike back higher so um, here, here we are right now it is still a, a bearish market but once again this area down here is a, a very important uh, support level so when i saw this move i was uh, looking to see if we're gonna get some slow correction and another leg to the upside on the euro it need to make some correction as for now we've got the spike to the upside but then we uh, moved lower um, in a bit of a stronger momentum so um, keep an eye on that 
keep an eye on this area down here if tested again with uh, fail to make new high there is if there is no break and correction below that uh, then there is a possibility that we see another uh, push to the upside if the push to the upside happened as we had on this leg another impulse and we see a slow correction as i said there is a possibility for a uh, higher move from here on uh, on this market uh, sterling uh, usd same scenario here um, i was looking at this um, in the previous uh, weekly overview and in our trading room and we've been seeing these uh, tops getting lower and lower every time as you see here we get lower and lower highs but uh, there was a same um, same bottom here um, and it was um, pretty clear that this market was uh, building up for some kind of uh, break to the downside here we got the break now below the 200 uh, moving average here uh, and below this support level the 1.300 got broken and the market did stop at um, the uh, this gap and the monthly s1 here I still think the market objective here now since we broke this uh, key level is to reach these lows down here but um, look for uh, some kind of correction before that so um, anticipation here is to see if we're gonna get some kind of uh, correction toward this trend line toward this uh, key uh, resistance level before the next leg to the downside on this market yeah uh, so first off in the beginning of the week there is a possibility that we see another push toward monthly s1 and if you get bullish evidence there is possibly a short term buy here toward this uh, area when the price reach this level you should start looking for a possibility for another leg to the downside on um, sterling usd um, usd jappy a <laughs> very interesting market uh, as I said, <clears throat> this range was very narrow and one was uh, to expect a possible uh, strong breakout. We got uh, a breakout with momentum as you saw last week, but it wasn't um, <clears throat> an easy one. Yeah, so we got the spike to the upside, uh, killed some stops here and then a strong move to the downside. During the GDP release, we got this spike back higher. And we were uh, following this in our trading room and um, I've been saying to the guys after this move here, look for a possible correction and another leg to the downside. Now we got this move already and um, since uh, this considered to be a uh, fake out now, I'm still looking for a possible another uh, strong leg to the downside. So what I'm looking for here is to wait for this uh, possible correction to end here. If we there is a possibility that we get another leg to the upside, something like that. Keep uh, making this flag and another leg toward the 111, which being a good uh, and important support level now since we broke this uh, trend line, there is that possibility that after this uh, correction to the upside that we may see a uh, possible one more leg to the downside on this market. USD Chief um, also at a very, very interesting level. If we look at the weekly, you see that we are pretty close to uh, reach this uh, and uh, this high. They are the top of this uh, range. Um, so um, there is a possibility that this market keep pushing slowly toward this level, but I'm not interested of that after such a strong move here on the daily, as you see, after retesting the 200 moving average and we've been pushing higher and higher um, I'm expecting uh, after the market reaching mo monthly R2 uh, extremely overbought on the uh, RSI daily and the last three uh, days here Friday uh, Thursday and Wednesday as you see uh, it seems like we lost momentum uh, usually we we have a push some slow correction and another push all the way here but um, at the top here we had these three days of uh, um, shooting star a uh, couple of shooting star one um, spinning top on one doji um, showing a possible lost momentum and i'm expecting at least uh, a correction down here toward this level this area here gonna be a pretty interesting level to watch now if the price will uh, move down toward that level so uh, for our time frame <coughs> we had 
a nice uh, triple top now uh, one spike on the GDP to then uh, trade back lower and um, as I said it is still a bullish market absolutely but uh, I'm uh, pretty interesting for a possible uh, correction here and another move toward uh, this uh, key support level down here yeah so um, as you see uh, the GDP release one spike to the upside um, this is the candle here one spike to the upside above monthly or two above these highs and uh, if we got some kind of slow correction now there is a possibility for another leg to the downside on this market at least as you see on the um, daily time frame we still have a lot of um, room to the downside on the RSI and this move need to make some kind of correction if it's gonna continue to the upside after that um, let's see how it will uh, play out um, when we uh, reach that uh, level once again um, USD CAD um, also uh, making um, a nice uh, reversal formation here at the monthly R1 uh, despite uh, very weak oil during uh, the Friday session, we um, kept seeing uh, USD CAD uh, pushing lower uh, despite that weakness. So I'm expecting some kind of correction here and another leg to the downside. Uh, looking pretty interesting right now. Uh, there is a possibility for this market um, after uh, such a strong move to the upside to give you another correction at least toward this uh, area here before another push higher yeah uh, that is um, a possible scenario or if we see another push higher here a slowly moving market toward monthly r1 that failed to make a new high above this area that could give you one more leg to the downside as well um, Aussie USD also reached an important level the last line of defense was tested on this market and what i mean is this level down here um, so um, we pushed below that uh, to then go back above uh, the monthly s1 as you see here we had the monthly s1 and the previous uh, last line of defense looking left here we had another uh, support area uh, so we pushed back above that we have a morning star formation on the daily down here and um, yeah after such a very strong move to the downside uh, we could not uh, we cannot keep selling here so i'm looking for uh, some kind of correction and maybe another leg to the upside on this market from uh, from this level so um, that is uh, the uh, that is uh, the idea here um, correction and uh, back up you could also um, look for if you get something like this a slow move to the downside and another impulse to then look for correction and then another leg to the upside so only um, i'm looking for buys from this level uh, down here on this market and new zealand usd the same this one moved uh, much stronger than aussie usd as you see uh, it is a clear move to the upside from also a very important level if we go back to the daily you see why so the last time this area was tested we pushed very strongly to the to the upside and uh, <clears throat> this is now here was the first time we're testing this level after this move higher so um, i'm expecting the same thing here now after um, this impulse we're having this uh, some kind of range or correction here and maybe another leg to the upside to come so um after this push now we reach the previous level here i'm looking for how the market will react on this correction if we get another higher low to then look for correction and another move higher there is also a possibility that this market comes down here tag this lows down here and uh, start pushing higher so uh, keep an eye on that as well uh, but pretty interesting uh, that we had this very strong move from this uh, important support level showing that there is a possibility for new bulls entering uh, this market and uh, New Zealand CAD 
uh, same scenario uh, we uh, back again at this uh, pretty important support level as you see down here uh, this was the last line of support we broke that slightly we uh, reached the 200 moving average to then see the markets uh, start uh, bouncing higher um, uh, a move like this uh, I mean this is uh, technically broken now the support but I would like to see it like a stronger push and a slow correction to the upside to then sell it that didn't happen if we go down to the lower time frame you see that what happened was uh, this uh, uh, channel here when the price reached this level start going uh, very slowly uh, making a deep correction every time and uh, there was bullish divergence on the RSI to then break strongly to the upside so uh, let's keep looking at this if it's gonna correct slowly toward monthly S1 there is a possibility if we see a break of this correction to the upside to take the trade um, following the market to the upside uh, from here. So uh, yeah, that was it for the YouTube version of this um, video. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, I just want to let you know that the course registration is now open. So all you need to do if you want to join our next batch uh, is to follow, uh, go to uh, my homepage. The link is down here at the bottom of the screen. And um, yeah, we do have uh, five seats left and we still have the offer $200 off. All you need to use uh, to do is use the uh, coupon code Facebook, put it in here before you uh, click the sign up and you will get that offer. So um, yeah, if you really want to take your trading to the next level, uh, all you need to do is join this course and you will uh, surely love it. Just read our testimonials and see what other uh, students uh, think about uh, my trading course. Everyone just love it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next week. Bye bye.